And back on defense, Mark Christensen and John Rudovic. Rudovic, a new acquisition. This is the first time we have seen him play for Toledo. Christensen, a former member of the Kalamazoo Kangaroos. There are several former Roos on this team. Ted Powers, another one. And the coach, Mike Garrett. And he is dressed tonight. And we are told Garrett will probably see action on the power play for the Toledo Pride. Salguero's their leading scorer, 37 points on the season. We're underway at the Civic Center. They send it forward, uh, wanted to Nunzio in the Canton zone, but Oscar Pisano cut the ball off on the boards and steered it in the goal box for Billy Namofsky. Long outlet on the right side at midfield. This is Moyers, and he knocks it back to Tobin. Toby airborne, the pass is behind Frick, and it bounced out of bounds anyway. Christensen will put it in play from the right side for Toledo. We've played 17 seconds at the Civic Center. Tomorrow night, we're on the air from Tampa Bay as the Invaders try to settle a score with the Rowdies. Long lead in the Invader defensive zone. Salguero puts it in the air and puts it out of play. Goal kick for the Invaders. Nomoski to touch it in play for Canton. Tom Condridge back there on the side of the box to help out. No score just underway here at the Civic Center. Condridge will bring the ball up the right side of the floor. Tomos picked up by McDermott at the red line. Now ahead it comes to Moyers. And Moyers is fouled, pushed down by Rudovic. And that is the first team foul on either club here. Pisano will put the ball in play. Touch line left side for Canton. Touches it back to Tobin. And the ball taken away by McDermott. McDermott tries to get it ahead to Salguero. Now back to McDermott through the middle. Long lead up the right side. Namoski out of the net to knock it away from Salguero. Airborne midfield. Christensen lost it and had to touch it back to the goalkeeper's stall. And Christensen gets it right back. Red line on the right side for Toledo. Around Frick forward for Salguero. Back to Christensen on the give and go. Shot blocked by Kondrich. Namoski slaps it out of the corner. And he sends it over the glass and out of play. And it will be a, a kick in for Toledo. We've played 58 seconds now. Both teams will change lines. The primo line, Rudy Pikasinski, Art Kramer, Magic Celestin out there for the Invaders, along with Tim Tima and Mike Paxos on defense. For Toledo, Ted Powers, Mark Jackson, Dean Kelly, Jimmy McGeo, and David Mazur. Kelly will put the ball in play. Another former Kalamazoo player. Drops it back to McGeo at midfield. Now on the left point at the red line. That is uh, Powers. Powers takes it down in the corner. 
And out front it comes McGee winds and fires, and that one's in the cheap seats. And another goal kick for Canton. Demofsky to put it in play for the Invaders. Out on the left side of the box to Tim Tima, who taps it back in the box, and now Timmy will come out with it himself. Picked up there by Jackson, and back in the goal box for Nomofsky. Nomofsky out of the arc. Jackson comes up to confront him. He feeds Tima, and right back to Bill Nomofsky. And now it is uh, Billy off the right side of the box, sends it ahead to Pikasinski at midfield, and back to Tima on the left side of the Canton red line. Timmy with Jackson moving right to left across the floor and now Paxos on the right side at midfield. Jackson knocked it away from him. Tima sends it forward for Pikasinski. Pikasinski working back to the net on McGee. Oh, he'll pass to Paxos. Paxos takes Kelly down in the right corner in the Toledo defensive zone. Paxi double teamed as McGee comes over and Mike able to get out of it. Now Rudy trying to help out and we got a whistle and a foul. And that pushing foul will go against Pikasinski and the team fouls are even at one apiece. 13.05 to play in the first quarter. No score here at the Civic Center. The Invaders and the Toledo Pride. McGee over on the right side at midfield. Back behind the circle, and Magic is hounding Kelly there, and he'll dump it back to Stahl in the goal box. Stahl, outlet, bad pass taken away by Kramer and knocked away by McGeo at the last second. Paxos sends it forward for Artie. Rudy's wide open, wall pass behind him. Paxos put it up and out of play. 12.43 to play in period one. And no score. It'll be a goal kick for Toledo. John Stahl to put this one in play. And both teams will change lines here. We have an official's timeout. I think somebody may have spilled some water off of the Toledo bench. Or is that coming from the roof? There's a leak. There's a wet spot along the seam of the carpet right in front of the Toledo bench. It's Frick, Moyers, and Tobin up front. Pisano and Condrich on D for the Invaders. And back out there for Toledo, Salguero, McDermott, Denunzio, Christensen, and Rudovic. 12.43 to play in the first period. No score here. And each team has committed one team foul. And while they attend to this, well, I guess we're going to get it in play now. Ravko Popovic says it's okay. And Stahl dumps it out of the right side to Christensen. Back in the goal box. Stahl picks it up and looks upfield. Invaders backpedal on D. Stahl will put it on the floor. Frick to confront him. They get it to McDermott. Dumps it over on the right side to Christensen. Tobin took it away. Toby ahead to Moyers. Moyers trying to get inside McDermott. Lost the ball. And McDermott takes it down in the left corner. McDermott. Picked up by Moyers, and that one is too far for Salguero. Condrich will get there first, and it's knocked in the goal box. Namoski lost it, but Billy steers it out on the left side for Don Tobin, and back in the box for Namoski. Long lead up the floor. Nobody home at midfield, but McDermott and Rudovic couldn't make up their mind which one was going to take the pass, and they ended up knocking it out of play. Invaders will put it in play. Touchline right side at midfield. It'll be Oscar Pisano to trigger it in for Canton. Back at the midfield stripe to Tobin. Right side to Oscar. And Pisano wanted Tobin, but the ball was picked away by McDermott. McDermott to an open man. Denunzio off the left side. Two on one break with Salguero. He shoots no. Rebound knocked away by Pisano. Denunzio on the follow. Blocked by Kondrich. And Tomo knocked it over the glass and out of play. And Toledo will put it back in play in the Invader defensive end. Best offensive rush for the Pride so far. It'll be McDermott. Or rather, Christensen now, red line on the right side of the floor. Steve Frick working on Christensen. And he dumps it down around the corner. Knocked out of play. Touched last, they say, by Condrich. And Toledo will put it in play. Denunzio, the trigger man in the right corner. Now Denunzio backs away, and McDermott will be the guy to put it in play for the Pride. 11.48 to play, period one. Here with 94 FM, WHBC FM, Canton, Ohio. Christensen winds wide to the right side, and Moyer's coming out with it. Salguero knocked it away, and Pisano can't get it. Christensen had it knocked away by Tobin, and now it's Salguero back at the red line for Toledo. He wanted the shot, didn't get it. Feeds it on the left side to Denunzio. Back out front, Christensen put it in the stage. Another goal kick for the Invaders. 11-32 in the first quarter, and no score here at the Civic Center. And 
will be Namaski to put it in play for the Invaders. Namaski outlet on the left side to Pisano. And now Billy ahead to Oscar. Oscar, left side at the Canton Red Line. Knocked away and taken by Salguero at midfield. Toledo on the attack. Salguero had the ball knocked away from behind by Tobin. It's controlled in the goal box by Namoski. Long lead for Moyers and just knocked away by Rudovic at the red line. Rudovic picked up in the midfield circle by Frick. And now back to McDermott. McDermott up the right side of the floor. Canton red line. Wines fires. Blocked by Pisano. Christensen chases it down at midfield. And back in the other end, it is John Stahl in the Toledo goal area. And the lead comes out to midfield. This is McDermott there with it. And ahead it comes to Rob Denunzio. Denunzio, heel pass Salguero. Lost the ball. Frick with a deflection. Salguero got it back in the corner. Denunzio on the left side. Denunzio on Tobin. Moyers to double team. The ball deflected free and knocked in the goal box and picked up by Namofsky. Outlet straight ahead to Pisano. Pisano trying to get around McDermott. McDermott with good D. And he has to back it up away from Salguero. And through the goal box, and it's loose in the corner. Artie Kramer coming back to help out for the Invaders. Pisano punches it ahead for Magic Celesta, the Magic Man at midfield on Christensen. The Toledo red line to an open Rudy. And Kaczynski, keeper out of the net, knocked away by Kelly. Loose in the left side, and a foul pushing off for the elbow goes against Toledo. Second foul of the first period it goes against the Pride. And the Invaders will put it in play from the left corner. 10-15 to play in the first quarter. Bart Kramer out front. Paxos winds, fires, hit the post. Rebound comes through the legs of Celestin. Back to Paxos. Left corner for Art Kramer. Kramer off his chest, trying to move inside. Salguero does. He wants Rudy. He shoots. He's hit the hole. What a save by John Stahl. Just got the left hand on the ball. Magic trying to get inside the ball, knocked away, and coming forward with it is uh, Jackson at midfield. Got around Condrich. Jackson on the break up the left side. Salguero, the trailer. He winds, he fires. No, and the rebound comes out behind Salguero. Kelly with it on the right side. Salguero in the corner. Back to the net on Paxos. Spins to the middle of the floor. Condrich over to double team and knock it out to midfield. McGeo sends it back in. This is Mark Jackson away from Condrich and back at midfield. Jimmy McGeo, former Columbus Capital. And Dave Mazur lets it go back in the Toledo end and stall the outlet. Midfield with it now is Kelly. Kelly against Celestin. Back in the Toledo zone on the left side. Damian Kelly forward for Mark Jackson. Midfield circle. Paxos back on D. Down on the left side, he goes in the corner, winds, fires wide to the right. Nobody home for the rebound. Kramer in a foot race with Mazur. Mazur steers it inside for Kelly. Condridge got position in the boards and clears it away, but it's knocked back. Deflected by Ted Powers. Loose out front, blocked by Paxos and cleared to midfield. Chased down by the goalkeeper, Stahl. Outlet to the right side at midfield, and Kelly leaves it there for Mazur. And now Jackson at the Canton red line. Here comes... Uh, McGeo, McGeo to Powers. He wanted the shot. Sliding play by Paxos to take it away. And here comes Celestin up the field for Canton. Three on three. The Invaders on the attack. Magic with Rudy to his right. He winds. He fires. Hit the post on the inside. Rebound through the box. And Kramer chases it down. That's as close as you're going to come to putting it in without it going in. Magic Celestin hit the inside of the post. And the ball came back out. Ted Powers with it at midfield for Toledo. Pushes it up on the left side feed. This is McGeo. Picked up by Celestin at the Canton red line. He winds. He fires. Good save by Namofsky to punch that one into the stage. It'll be a corner kick from the left side for the Toledo Pride with 8.20 to play in the first period. No score. Both teams have had some opportunities, but nobody's been able to find the back of the net. And both goalkeepers have come up big on occasion here. It'll be McDermott to put it in play from the left side. Christensen is out there with Rudovic on defense. Salguero and Denunzio. And outside, Rudovic winds, fires, kick, saving a beauty by Namoski. You got Frick on the break if he can get the ball, but it takes a bounce into the invader bench. And Toledo will put it in play at midfield. McDermott, the trigger man, left side, right in front of the Canton bench. Looks inside, clears it long. He wants Denunzio down in the corner. And Bob Denunzio double teamed by Pisano and Frick. Trying to steer it outside. Fricky took the ball away. And now it's Denunzio with a little bit of a deflection, but Pisano has it for Canton. Right side in the invader zone to Donnie Tobin and back in the box for Namofsky. 
Billy ahead for Tobin. Right side at midfield is Steve Frick around Christensen. And ahead, the wall pass, no, Moyers, rebound, good save, rebound again, good save by McDermott. It got behind the keeper stall and McDermott with a bicycle kick to clear it away. Steve Frick with the ball at midfield for the Invaders. Now Pisano, now Kondrich on the right side at the red line. In the corner for Frick. Frick working against Denunzio. Ball deflected by Christensen and now taken back by Kondrich. He leaves it for Pisano at midfield. Oscar backing away from Christensen. Now it's Kondrich working on Salguero and Oscar on the right side. Clears it up across the midfield stripe. Around Christensen. Stops just over the red line and now back out to midfield. It comes to Tom Kondrich. Tomo, ball deflected by Salguero. Salguero couldn't get it back, though. Frick has it for Canton, and Fricky lost the ball at the red line. Condridge sends it ahead for Moyers, behind Frick, and Moyers can't control. Salguero has it at the red line, pushes it up the left side of the floor, and clearing it out for Toledo. Now you've got uh, Rudovic, middle of the floor. He winds, he fires, it's wide. The follow by Denunzio is in the stage. And another goal kick for the Invaders. And we'll take a timeout with 6.53 to play in the first quarter. The score, Canton nothing, and Toledo nothing. Ever wonder how you could get it? at 7.55? Both teams have had their chances here, but nobody able to put it in the back of the net so far. Namofsky and Stahl have both had good games in goal so far for these two teams. It'll be Billy putting it in play for the Invaders off the goal kick. Taps it out to Tim Tima right back in the box for Namofsky. And Bill outlet on the left side to Tim Tima. Tima back to Namofsky in the arc. Namofsky will come out with it, and they will not mark him, so he'll come out across the red line. They'll look for the long feed. He sends it in the left corner for Kramer. It's headed away there, but Celestin got it back. Paxos, but taken away by Jackson at midfield. Tima back on D for Canton. Jackson takes it in the left corner. Shot no. Rebound deflected by Paxos, and the follow is wide off the foot of Denunzio. And back outside comes Rudy Pikasinski. He's got Kramer up the right side of the floor. Artie working against McGill. Takes him up against the right side boards. Now backs it away from Jackson. Midfield Tima, edge of the circle to Celestin. Celestin, couple of steps in. And now on the right side to Tim Tima. 6.05 in the period. Lead ball for Kramer. Kramer at the red line, double teamed, and the ball is knocked away there by Ted Powers. Powers back in the... Uh, side of the goal box for Mazur and now in the box for Stahl. He can't pick that up. Leads it out outside and it's knocked away from Kelly. Celestin with a deflection and the push goes against Kelly as he took Rudy down. That'll be the third foul on Toledo. Corner kick from the right side for the Invaders. Your trigger man is Magic Celestin. Celestin touches it outside. Paxos winds, fires Rudy with a deflection. No. And it's knocked outside by Mazur. Back to Magic. Back to Rudy. Rudy lost his balance. And it's cleared away by Powers. Taken away by Pikasinski. And now Celestin. Celestin trying to get inside Mazur in the corner. Feeds Pikasinski. He feeds an open Kramer. He shoots. And a good save by Stahl up against the right post. Stahl with a long lead. And it's Tima and Jackson in a foot race for it. And Timmy wins that one and steers it in the goal box for Namofsky. Billy with a lead for Kramer at the other end, trying to get inside McGeo. And it's knocked away in the corner, and McGeo comes loose with it. Pikasinski to pick him up. McGeo with a move to the inside, and he clears it off the left sideboards. Kramer deflects, and Celestin controls. To an open Pikasinski, he shoots, he scores! Number 30 on the year for Rudy Pikasinski. It comes at 9.58 of the first period. And the Invaders lead one to nothing. Celestin picks up his sixth assist on the season. And the primo line strikes again. The Invaders draw first blood. They lead one to nothing. Salguero puts it in play for Toledo. Back to Rudovic. Rudovic forward for Salguero. Deflected by Kondrich. Moyers on the run, but Salguero got his head on the ball and knocked it away. And Stahl sends it out to midfield. Kondrich heads it over to the right side, and uh, Tobin clears it back to Pisano at the Canton red line. 
Oscar forward for Steve Frick, trying to get around Denunzio. Can't do it. Denunzio to Salguero in the midfield circle. Pisano back on D. Salguero around the left side. Denunzio in the corner, moves out front, and the ball deflected by Frick and cleared away by Kondrich. Stahl flags it down in the Toledo defensive zone. Moyers to confront him, and Stahl knocks it over three lines, and will put it back in play at the Toledo red line. Don Tobin winds, fires, and Stahl has to go down on the direct kick and make a good save on that. Mark Christensen with it at the Toledo red line. And he sends it into the Canton zone. Namofsky out of the net, and he will send that back out to midfield. One bounce around one. Moyers is obstructed by Christensen, and that's the fourth foul against Toledo. Only one on the Invaders, and we have 4.06 to play in the first quarter. Canton with a 1-0 lead on the Rudy Pekosinski goal, and the Magic Celestin assist at 9.58 of the period. Just a little left of center at the red line. Tobin will put it in play for Canton. Taps it over on the right side to Pisano. Oscar working on Denunzio. Now in the corner. Back to the net is Moyers on the right side. Back out on the point to Pisano. Pisano feeds out in front of the arc to Condridge. Tomo, a couple of steps. He winds. He fires. It's blocked by McDermott. Rebound comes out to Salguero. Deflected by Pisano, but Salguero got it back. Ahead to an open Denunzio up the left side. And Condridge cuts him off on the boards. The ball knocked away for a second. Denunzio got it back and cleared out to McDermott. McDermott outside the corner. Fires wide to the right side. And coming away with it now is Frick, and Frick dumps it back in the goal box for Bill Namofsky. Namofsky, long lead for Moyers, and Moyers touches it back for uh, Oscar Pisano. Pisano brings it up the right side, picked up at midfield by Salguero, and Oscar blows right around him. He will feed in the right side for Frick. And Frick back out front to Pisano. Oscar looks to the left. Moyers scores! <laughs> Steve Moyers with a goal. Oscar Pisano, the assist. It's 2-0. Time of the Steve Moyers goal comes at 11.45 of the period. It's his 10th goal of the year. And for Pisano, number 16 on the assist category. 2-0 Invaders, 3.15 to play in the first quarter. Toledo will drop it back to the red line. And this is Kelly. Now he dumps it over on the left side of the floor to Mark Jackson. Uh, that's Mazur, excuse me. Mazur against Pikasinski. Now ahead to Jackson, and Pikasinski got a piece of that and took it away. And Magic Celestin will control for Canton. Here comes the primo line on the attack. Three on three. Celestin has to back away from Kelly, and Kelly took the ball away. Damian Kelly through the midfield circle. Ted Powers on the right side. And back to Kelly on the give and go. He shoots just wide. Namofsky way out of the net. Rebound knocked away by Tima, and Pikasinski leaves it for Timmy. Tima out to midfield. Kramer on the right side will back away from Powers. And they'll set up shop again. 2.33 to go in the first quarter. Mike Paxos at the Canton red line. Now the magic man, Gerald Celestin, left side of the midfield circle. And he moves around. Kelly feeds ahead for Pikasinski. Rudy dumps between a couple of Toledo players. There's the fifth foul as they call obstruction, and they could have called it on either one of them. One more foul would put the invaders on the power play. 2.21 to play in the period. Celestin will trigger it in for Canton. About seven feet out in front of the arc. Celestin looking inside, feeds on the right to Paxos. Paxos down in the corner for Kramer. Kramer had it taken away by McGeo, and Jimmy McGeo will clear it out for Toledo. McGeo across the red line, left side of the floor, across midfield. Long lead, Namofsky out of the net to slide and knock that away. And the follow by Powers is caught on the fly by Billy. And Billy lost his balance, and he was tripped, and there's the sixth foul. It goes against Kelly. And the Invaders will go to the man advantage. Invader power play unit will come on the floor. The time of the penalty, 12.56. 31 of 70, the Invader man up team, 44% on the year. The Toledo penalty killers have given up 16 goals in 51 man down situations. That's a 69% success rate of penalty killings. Invaders already lead by a score of two to nothing and they have a chance to add another one here. 
Don Tobin ahead. Les Scarelli on the power play unit. It's Tobin, Pisano, Scarelli, Kia, and Pikasinski. Tobin right side to Pisano. Back to Toby. Back to Pisano. Now Rudy. Ball knocked away and taken by Jackson. Jackson on the attack for Toledo. Up the right side of the floor into the Canton defensive zone. Jackson still working on Rudy and his shot and a save by Namoski. Knocks it in the corner. And Tobin steers it back in the goal box. And Namoski is hauled down by Mark by uh, Dave Mazur. Seventh foul. Isn't going to matter much with a minute 28 in the half. And we have a minute 22 in the penalty. Pisano ahead, Rudy. Rudy in the corner for Kia. He shoots just wide to the left side. Scarelli after the rebound over there. And Lesh will back it out to Don Tobin. Toby on the right side to Pisano. And Pisano, a couple of dribbles. Back to Rudy to, oh, Scarelli. Ridden down by the keeper, Stahl. And Stahl with the outlet ahead to Denunzio, or rather Christensen, and he just dumps it down on the invader end, and Namoski will tap it ahead to Tobin. 50 seconds in the penalty. Toby, left side feed to Scarelli, to Rudy, posted up out front, back to Pisano, back to Rudy. Rudy winds, fires, hit the post on the left side. Tobin after the loose ball, 35 seconds in the penalty. Here is uh, Pisano, Pisano dribbling at the red line, working against Mazur. And Pisano dumps it down in the corner. Scarelli bounces away from him. Loose Kia scores. Just sloppy ball handling by Toledo. Set that one up. And Kia gets on the board, and the Invaders lead three to nothing. Power play goal comes at 14:33 of the first period. And you tell me who got the assist on that one. They could have given one to Stahl, but he's on the wrong team. Maybe Rudy. I think you're right. I think it is Rudy. Tentatively, we'll give that one to Pikasinski. So Rudy's got a goal and an assist. 20 seconds left to go in the quarter. Shot, and Namoski covers that one up off the solid left foot of Christensen. And here comes Tima. Lost the ball to Denunzio. 10 seconds in the quarter. And they give it to Christensen. Loose, knocked away. And that'll be the end of the period. 2-1. The first quarter ends with a score. The Invaders 3, Toledo nothing. Back in one minute. We're all changing the way we look at credit. Instead of the traditional installment loan, many people are turning... ...tomorrow night in Tampa. Starting the second quarter for Canton, Kramer, Pikasinski, Celestin, Tima, and Paxos. And for Toledo, it will be Powers, Kelly, Jackson, Mazur, and McGill. Invaders, the home team, will control the kickoff to start the second period. They lead three to nothing. Happy 17th birthday goes out to Cindy Stout from Mom and the Gang. Cindy, one of the Invaderettes. Happy 24th birthday to Mike Namofsky from Brother Bill. Tim Tima with the ball for Canton. Backs it up to Celestin, edge of the midfield circle. And Celestin tried to get it to Rudy, and he knocked it too far wide to the right and out of play. And Toledo will kick it in. Second quarter action. Cecil Cook fully plays southeast. You're our contestant this quarter. We'll have another contest quarter in the fourth period. Stahl dumps it ahead, and uh, Kelly very nearly took Mazur's head off with that, and it ended up out in the referee's box. And we'll put it in play from the left side. The Invaders will, right in front of their bench. 14.40 to play in the first half, and the Invaders lead 3 to nothing. Celestin, back at the Canton red line to Tim Tima. Tima dumps it out to Paxos. Paxos had the ball taken away by Powers. Powers feeds Jackson open wide to the left side is shot. Mazur after the rebound, has it on the left point for Toledo. Pass deflected by Pikasinski, but he got it back to Powers. Powers shot wide again. Mazur couldn't get the follow. Kelly does, but put it out of play. 
And it'll be a goal kick for Canton. Invaders lead 3-0 early here in the second quarter. Tomorrow night on the road in Tampa, 7.55 airtime as the Invaders try to avenge that loss last week against the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Steve Frick will be our guest at halftime tonight. Bill Namoski comes out of the net for the Invaders, out across the red line, sends it ahead left side, and is taken away there by McGill. Ahead for Powers. I lost it through his legs, but it's taken by Kelly for Toledo. And ahead to McGill. McGill winds, fires, and Namoski with a save, dumps it out to Paxos. And Paxos and Powers fight for it in the corner, dumps it back in the box for Bill Namoski, and he just gets there ahead of Mark Jackson. Outlet left side, Tim Tima, now Celestin at midfield. Celestin trying to move around one, around two, sends it ahead. The ball knocked away by Kelly and taken back by Jackson. And now Kelly and now Powers and now McGeo for Toledo. McGeo across the midfield line, ahead for Jackson. Jackson working on Tima in the invader defensive zone. Back out to midfield, it comes to Mazur. Mazur ahead for Kelly. Kelly feeds the ball deflected by Tima. Namoski couldn't clear it away, but Tima does. Taken back outside the red line by McGeo. McGeo, middle of the floor, winds, fires, and scores. It rolled up Billy's left arm and went in. Jimmy McGeo gets his third goal of the year for Toledo and the pride on the board at 147 of the second quarter. So the invader lead cut to three to one. McGeo will get the goal and we'll check on the assist in a minute. Back it comes to Tobin. I head to Steve Frick in the Toledo defensive end. Frick tripped by Rudovic. That's the first foul of the period on either team. Invaders to put it in play. Back to Paxos. He dumps it down in the corner. Moyers heads it for Tobin, and he put it out of play. Tobin got the ball right in front of the net, but unfortunately he was right in front of Stahl, too, and really didn't have any room to work with it. And Toledo will have a goal kick with 12.59 showing on the scoreboard clock in the second quarter. Christensen back in the box for John Stahl. Stahl will send it ahead to midfield to McDermott and now back to Christensen. Now on the left side to Rudovic. Rudovic to Denunzio. Denunzio, they fight for it along the boards and Tobin sends it ahead. But uh, Frick couldn't get there, and Rudovic has it in the Toledo defensive end. Now outside to midfield to Christensen. Christensen forward for uh, Denunzio. Denunzio trying to move to the left side. Salguero working out front against Condrich. Salguero turns, faces the net. Condrich fronts him. Fricky comes in from behind, couldn't get the ball. And back out to Christensen and McDermott. And Christensen again, and now in the midfield circle, it's Rudovic. Rudovic to... Uh, McDermott sliding play by Moyers but McDermott comes away with it his shot in the goal is blocked by Pisano and Oscar coming the other way ball knocked away McDermott and Sal Salguero trip over each other Denunzio ends up with the ball for Toledo but can't hold it and Condridge controls for the invaders and dumps it in the goal box to Bill Namoski Namoski long lead wants Moyers Moyers got inside of Rudovic on the left side he needs the feed and he can't get it taken down by Rudovic but there's the second foul as Rudovic gets whistled for the push Moyers did not have the angle to take the shot himself, and the trailer Frick was cut off by one of the defenders by Denunzio. Tobin puts it in play. Condrich to Pisano. He lets it go. No. Rebound comes out to McDermott. McDermott clears it out, and nobody back for Toledo. Namoski flags it down in the Canton end. Outline, outlet on the right side to Pisano. Pisano to Frick. Frick with Christensen down in the uh, Toledo defensive end. Fricky spins off the boards, dumps it out front to Condrich. Tomo, a couple of steps inside the red line on the left point to Don Tobin. Tobin to Condrich and back to Pisano, and now Tobin again, 11-14 in the period. Pisano lead, and it's uh, scooped out of play by Rudovic, and Canton will kick it in from the left corner. Toledo will change lines. The Invaders will do likewise. It'll be uh, Pikasinski, Kramer, Celestin, Paxos, Tima for Canton. And Toledo will counter with Mazur, McGeo, Jackson, Kelly, and Powers. The 
And it'll be Magic Celestin to put it in play. Celestin waiting for the referee, Dravko Popovic, to OK. And now we go. And Magic dumps it out. Kramer winds, fires, blocked by McGeeo. The follow by Magic is behind Rudy, and Tima chases the rebound down at midfield. Tima to Mike Paxos. Paxos trying to work inside on Kelly and has to back it the other way to Tim Tima. Tima ahead for Kramer, and Kramer back to Tima. 10.52 to play in the first half. Timmy Tima, long lead. He scoops it over on the side for Paxos, and Paxos put it out of play. Goal kick coming up for Toledo. 10.45 to play in the first half. The Invaders lead 3-1. to one. Domofsky, or rather, uh, I'm on the wrong end of the floor here. This is Stahl. Dumps it over on the side, and uh, Mazur taps it back at the goal box for John Stahl. Puts it on the floor. Sends it out, and it's knocked away and taken by McGeeo. McGeeo coming up the floor for Toledo. Forward for Powers. Powers working against Paxos on the left side. And Powers feeds Mazur, crossing, nobody home, and Tima knocked it away, followed by Powers, no, and Pikasinski steers the rebound out of play. Toledo will kick it in from the left side in the Invader defensive zone with 10-21 to play in the first half, and the Invaders leading 3-1. Mazur will trigger the play for Toledo. Mazur outside for McGeeo, and he has to chase it all the way to the point. Celestin out on D, he puts it airborne and Paxos heads it away, but the follow and score by Kelly. Paxos headed it up in the air and Kelly put it down and rammed it in the left corner and all of a sudden Toledo's back to within one. <laughs> Kelly's seventh goal of the season. It comes at 447 of the second period. And all of a sudden, Toledo back to within one. The Invaders want a timeout. We'll take a break with a score. The Invaders three and Toledo two. Rick, Tobin, Condrich, and Pisano for Canton. Salguero, Denunzio, McDermott, Rudovic, and uh, Christensen for Canton. And Pisano has it knocked away, and Condrich flags it down at midfield. Condrich sends it ahead for Moyers. Moyers taps it back to Pisano. Back to Moyers. And back to Don Tobin. Toby. Left point. Down in the corner. Moyers. Wall feed for Frick. Knocked away. Christensen steered it right into the waiting hands of the goalkeeper's stall. So Toledo has climbed back into this. And the lead knocked away by Condrich and headed forward by Pisano. Now Frick over to Moyers. It's over his head. He winds. He fires just wide to the right side. Fricky taps it back out off the boards to Condrich. Tomo on the left side to Moyers. Now on the point, it goes to Tobin. He fires no. Frick lets it clear through the box. Nobody home there. And Denunzio chases it. Nobody got it. And Rudovic clears, but knocked to Tobin. Over to Moyers. Moyers to Frick. Frick over the right side. And a good save by Stahl. Sliding down to make that play. Pisano knocked it away from Salguero. And Oscar will get whistled for the first foul on the Invaders in the period as he took Salguero down. Two on Toledo so far. And the Pride will put it in play. And out of play. And the Invaders will have a goal kick. 9.06 to play in the first half. Canton 3 and Toledo 2. <laughs> and what do we got here? A couple Toledo players chatting in front of the bench. Also a happy 25th anniversary to Jim and Mina Jane Gretz. Someone's the Here it comes to Steve Frick. Frick moves ahead around uh, Denunzio and back it comes to Moyers off the boards to Condrich. Condrich pushes it over on the right side for Don Tobin. Tobin ahead for Tomo. Kondrich working against Rudovic, and he's fouled by Rudovic as he's pushed into the boards. Now three fouls on Toledo. Tobin to put it in play from the right corner. 
Fasano lines, fires, no. Rebound comes out to Kondrich. Tomo dumps it down in the left corner. Frick trying to get inside. Rudovic does. Fricky looking for Tobin out front. Taken down on the trip by Rudovic. And that's the fourth foul on Toledo. But they put it out of play, and Toledo will have a goal kick. 8.37 remaining in the first half. Canton 3, Toledo 2. Stahl will put it in play for Toledo. Scoring so far for Canton, Pikasinski, Moyers, and Kia. McGeo and Kelly have found the back of the net for Toledo. Stahl has the ball in the goal box. And Stahl sends it long, and he threw it right into his own bench, and Canton will put it back in play. Mike Paxos to trigger it in for the Invaders. Cecile Cook of Canton. We're still looking for an Invader goal to make you a winner in this quarter. Paxos ahead to Kramer. And Kramer trying to work around McGeo, and there's the second foul on the Invaders as Artie grabbed a hold of McGeo as he tried to work his way around him. McGeo to put it in play for Toledo. Long lead. They want Jackson in the left corner, and he hit the crossbar, and it hits the top of the glass and stays in play. Celestin in a race with it, and Magic trying to get it around. Kelly does, but Mazur keeps it in. Hit one of his own players, though, and it bounces back out to midfield. Here comes Rudy on the run. Beats Kramer on the right side. Artie back to himself and knocked away. Mazur, Johnny on the spot in front of the Toledo net. And controlling back there is uh, McGeo, and he dumps it in the goal box for Stahl. Stahl will put it on the floor. And John Stahl clears ahead. Here comes uh, Kelly. Kelly, ball knocked away by Paxos. And he dumps it in the goal box on the one hop to Namofsky. Namofsky rolls the outlet short on the right side to Tima. Back in the box for Billy. Billy ahead to Magic, steers it over for Paxos, and back again to Namofsky. 7.27 to play in the period. Namofsky out of the arc. And Billy out across the red line. Namofsky. Dumps it over to Timo on the right side and again to Billy. And Billy with a long lead for Kramer in the left corner. McGeo got inside of Artie, cleared it, but right into the chest of Paxos. His shot was deflected just wide to the right. Pikasinski tries to knock it away, but they clear to midfield and Mark Jackson. And the ball taken away from behind by Tim Tima. Nifty play by Timmy. Now Magic in the midfield circle. Celestin trying to move away from Powers and he finds Tima on the right side. Ahead for Rudy to Kramer. Kramer in the corner, double teamed in there by McGeo and Kelly. And there's the fifth foul on Toledo, the trip call on McGeo. And the Invaders will put it in play, but it goes right across the Powers. Powers taps it back, and it's in the goal box now for Stahl. Stahl will come out with it. John Stahl confronted by Pikasinski, outlet to Mazur on the right side. Mazur back over to McGeo. Pikasinski on him. And Paxos trying to get around Powers. And holding is called on Powers. And that's the sixth foul. So the Invaders will go back to the man advantage. They're one for one on the power play tonight. Time of this penalty comes at the 847 mark of the second period. So the Invaders with a chance to pad that lead and see if we can make a winner out of our contestant, too, as Toledo is whistled for six fouls again. The Invader power play team, Pikasinski, Scarelli, Tobin, Pisano, and Kia. And Toledo wants a timeout to talk things over. And we'll take a quick break with a score. The Invaders 3, Toledo 2. So there you are at the end of the first quarter. East Lutheran Church, St. Paul's of North Canton. And Namoski to put it in play for the Invaders. Ahead to Don Tobin. And Tobin for Scarelli. Back to Tobin. Invaders on the power play. Pisano down in the corner for Kia. Kia through the box. Scarelli, loose ball. Loose out front again. Pikasinski couldn't get it. Scarelli back to Kia. And now Tobin, he winds, he fires. No. 
And it'll be Pisano on the point. Let's it go wide to the left side. McGeo dumps it out to midfield. Tobin waiting on it there. Minute 34 left in the penalty. And here comes Tobin. Right side at the red line to Pisano. Pisano to Pikasinski. Rudy out of a double team. Knocked it away. And he got committed a foul in the process. Third one on the invaders in the period. And Toledo will put it in play. 5.37 in the quarter. As they dump it back into the uh, waiting arms of the goalkeeper, John Stahl. Stahl, long lead midfield. And it bounces off the head of Jackson. Comes back to Pisano at the Canton red line. Dumps it over to Tobin. Toby through the midfield circle. Minute seven in the penalty. Pisano. Right side to Kia. Kia back off the sideboards to Pisano. One minute in the penalty. And here comes Pisano. Kia right side. He winds. He fires. No rebound behind Pikasinski. And Tobin keeps it in play. Schirelli back to Toby. Toby to Pisano. Pisano. Schirelli to Kia. He fires. Good save by Stahl. And Christensen did a good job to control that rebound. Long enough for Stahl to get over and collect it. Stahl, long lead, and Jackson heads it up in the air into the Canton defensive zone. And it bounces back, and Don Tobin coming out with it. 23 seconds left in the penalty. Here comes Pisano, around one, dumps it in. It's deflected. Oscar got it back. Scarelli shot, deflected out of play by Christensen. And with 13 seconds left in the penalty, the Invaders will have a corner kick from the left side. 13 seconds left to go. 3-2, the Invaders lead. They have the man advantage. Time for one more opportunity here to convert on it with a corner kick and 13 seconds of power play left. Don Tobin outside. Scarelli fires wide to the right. Kia with a rebound. Eight seconds in the penalty. Here's Pisano to Pikasinski to Kia through the box. It hit Rudy in the head, but he couldn't control. The penalty just ended. And Scarelli trying to keep it in, but can't. It's knocked out to midfield. And Tobin controls there. Salguero, who is serving the penalty out of the box. Namofsky sends it ahead for Kia at midfield. Kia on the right side. Ball knocked away by Mazur. And Salguero's got it for Toledo. Deflected by Kia and taken by Pisano. Invaders on the attack. Four on three. Pisano to Kia on the right side. Kia to Oscar. And Rudy didn't see the ball coming. And Stahl picked it up before he got there. Here is Salguero. I had to an open. Christensen, he shoots wide, and Namofsky covers up on the rebound. Outlet, Mike Paxos. Paxos picked up by Jackson at midfield, and the ball deflected over to Christensen for Toledo. 3.31 to play in the half. Salguero, red line left side, ahead to, uh, to McDermott. McDermott, wall pass, no. Ball knocked away by Kramer. Just before Salguero was getting ready for the follow, Artie steers it away. Leaves it at midfield on the left side for Celestin. Celestin got around one but lost the ball and is taken back by uh, McGeo. In the goal box it goes for Stahl. And Toledo wants timeout with 3.07 to play in the first half. And the score, the Invaders three and Toledo two. Christensen dumps it back in the goal box for Stahl. And Toledo on the attack. Stahl long lead and Celestin deflected it out of play and if Magic hadn't touched that I think it would have been three lines as it is Toledo will put it in play from the Canton red line McDermott down in the corner for Denunzio and Paxo steered that away from him into Namoski ahead for Kramer Kramer left side at midfield Rudy clears up the middle Celestin's the trailer and over to Rudy on the side of the box Tima winds and fires no just missed it wide to the left. The rebound comes out at the feet of McDermott. McDermott ahead to an unmarked Denunzio off the left side. Now Tima picks him up. Shot saved by Namoski. Tima takes it in the corner. And now Salguero and Paxos fight for it. And Paxi wins that one and dumps it in the box for Billy. Ahead to Magic Celestin. Celestin forward for Rudy, but it's intercepted by Christensen. And Christensen ahead for Salguero. Salguero fires wide and the rebound to Denunzio. Good save by Namoski. Ahead to Celestin, 2-12 in the quarter. Magic with Kramer and Rudy. Magic around one, he fires, no, kick saved by Stahl. And we go end to end the other way. Salguero at midfield for Toledo. Salguero picked up by Kramer. And the fourth foul goes against Artie for the Invaders. And Toledo will put it in play from the midfield circle with two minutes to play in the first half. 
Three two is our score. Mark Christensen to put it in play for the Toledo Pride. Christensen, ball taken away by Pikasinski. They race up against the boards for it. Rudy trying to get inside down on in the uh, Toledo defensive end. Kramer trailing and whistle and the uh, foul goes against Rudy. Well, what for, I'm not sure. But it's the fifth one anyway, and the Invaders now have to be careful that they don't draw a six. Denunzio on the run. Tima steps in front, steers it in the goal box for Namofsky. Namofsky pushes it ahead for Tim Tim Tima. Timmy up the right side of the floor. Ahead for Pikasinski. Rudy for Tima to Kramer. He hits for Frick scores. Steve Frick makes it four to two. We just made a winner out of our contestant. Congratulations, Cecile Cook of Kent. You got the tickets, you got the dinners, you got the United Bank coffee mug. We'll do it again in the fourth quarter. Time of the goal, 13-29. Steve Frick picks up his 10th goal of the year. We'll talk to Fricky at halftime. And Timmy Tima picks up the assist, his fifth of the season. The Invaders lead 4-2. Clock rolling, minute 28 in the period. Long lead for Toledo. Mark Jackson working back to the net. Left side on Pisano. Jackson out front. Frick with a deflection. Jackson got the shot off anyway. It was wide and high to the right. And the ball headed out by Pisano. And Frick trying to get around Mazur. But he knocked it right to Kelly. Kelly underneath. And back outside it comes to Mazur. Mazur feeds to Powers. Powers posted up back to the net out front on Condridge. And there's a shot wide. And Jackson with a follow hit the post. Invaders Leary of committing that sixth foul. And that one goes against Toledo. So with 56 seconds left to play, the Invaders will put it in play from their own end. Tobin dumps it in the box for Namofsky. And Namofsky will pick it up and dump it ahead for Tobin and right back to Billy. 46 seconds in the quarter. Now Tobin, again Namofsky. And ahead it comes to Pisano. And now Tobin. Tobin, back to Billy. Airborne it comes for Don Tobin. Tobin ahead for Condrich, headed away by Mazur. And Powers comes the other way for Toledo, 29 seconds. And there's the sixth foul as Condrich gets whistled for the push. So Toledo will get their first power play opportunity of the night. Time of the penalty comes at 14.32 of the second quarter. Toledo on the year, 15 of 49, 31% power plays. The Invaders, 17 goals allowed in 63 man down situations. They've killed off 73%. 28 seconds left in this half. And they would have another minute 32 in the second half if they don't score here. Player coach Mike Garrett is in on the power play for Toledo. This is the first action he has seen as a member of the Toledo Pride. He played for Kalamazoo and coached Kalamazoo last year. Garrett, left side. Rudovic, out front to Garrett. 22 seconds. Rudovic, winds, fires, wide, rebound, put up in the air by Kelly. Namofsky goes up and hauls it down on the fly. Long lead for Frick, 14 seconds. Frick and Kramer into Toledo end. Fricky fires, no, Kramer, score! He broke the record last Wednesday night for shorthanded goals in a year with five. And Artie Kramer has just picked up his sixth one of the season. Nine seconds left in the period. 14.51 the time of the goal. Kramer from Frick. And the Invaders lead 5-2. to two. Nine seconds left to play in the first half. And boy, if that won't demoralize Toledo, I don't know what will. Here comes Garrett. Garrett ahead, shot blocked by Tima, and Kramer sends it long, and that's the end of the first half. With a score, the invasion. And when they get that ball loose at midfield, they've got visions of the back of the net at the other end of the floor, as John Stahl found out the hard way at the end of that second quarter. Six shorthanded goals for Art Kramer on the season. 5-2, to two, the Invaders lead. That six shorthanded goals is an AISA season record. 
And we've still got a little more than 20 games left to play. 20 games and half of this one left to go. So Toledo on the power play to start the third quarter. Salguero to Garrett. Garrett ahead to Kelly. Kelly trying to work around Frick and now backs it up to Salguero. Salguero, Garrett, middle of the floor. Garrett, couple of steps in, headed up. Oh, what a save by Namofsky. Got a hand on it up against the post. Kramer coming out of there with it for the invaders, but stripped away from behind by Powers. Garrett over to Salguero. Back to Garrett. Garrett picked up by Kramer in front of the arc. Garrett finds, fires, hit the post on the right side, and it goes out. The follow is covered up and, and controlled by Namofsky. Less than a minute left in the penalty. 50 seconds to be exact. Kramer had it knocked away for a second, but already got it back. And now the fun bunch will do their work. Kramer ahead to Condrich. Salguero stepped in front of that, and it was knocked away, and Garrett got it away from Frick and back in the goal area with it. Garrett will come out for Toledo. 32 seconds in the penalty. Long lead. Powers working on Tima. Powers turns and faces the net, and Timmy's right in his face. Rudovic out of the point. And here is Garrett. Garrett left side winds, fires wide. Rebound Salguero put it wide to the right. Kramer had trouble controlling. Powers got it, lost it again to Kramer. And Artie with a little skip sends it ahead to Frick. Frick may have a break up the left side. He's got one man to beat, and it's Rudovic. Frick looking for a feed. Nobody there. He got around the man, and Stahl mishandled the ball, and Frick clears it back, and Condridge can't get there, and Garrett comes the other way. But the penalty is over. The Invaders have killed it off. There's a shot deflected up against the crossbar by Namofsky. Kramer outlet to Pisano, who just stepped out of the penalty box. Salguero knocked it away. And the foul goes against whom? I think against Oscar Salguero, slow getting up. Oscar helping him out. First foul of the period against the Invaders. And the clock is moving. Yeah, okay, we're playing again. Mark Jackson, midfield. Jackson for Toledo, off the boards to himself, working on Tobin on the left side. Jackson takes it down in the corner, looks for a feed out front. It squirts right through the goal mouth, and Condridge chases it down out in the corner. And Tomo will come out with it for Canton. Kelly with him. Tomo stops at the red line. Kelly clears. They change lines on D. Ahead it comes to Frick, and now back to Oscar Pisano. Right side at midfield for Don Tobin. Tobin ahead for Steve Frick. Fricky taps it back to Oscar. Ahead for Tobin on the run. Toby turns back to the net. Three pride players around him. And Toby had the ball deflected from behind and coming the other way is Jackson. Across the midfield circle. Frick with him step for step. And now Condridge back to help out. And Jackson takes it in the corner. And they double team and it squirts in the box. And namoski has got a problem there, but it's cleared away. Shot into the side of the boards. And now Mazur with T Tobin on defense. Mazur can't get a shot away and has to back out front. Moyer's over to help out, and they clear it out to midfield. And here is McGeo. Jimmy McGeo looks ahead for Jackson. Jackson working on Pisano. And into the game for the first time on defense is number 19. And I don't have a number 19 for Toledo. Pouncing on the loose ball is Namofsky. Who's number 19 for Toledo? And here comes Tobin. Tobin. Ahead. Okay, it's John Bergmeyer. He used to wear number two. They just changed his number. Coming up the floor, Condrich, or rather Moyers, and he is plowed into. Now they... And the fouls are even at one apiece. Kramer to put it in play for the Invaders. And now Kramer will step away from the ball, and Tobin touches it out to Artie. He winds, he fires, and it's into the crowd over the right corner. And Toledo will put it in play from there. Clock, 11.21 to play. And I think about five seconds just ran off that clock that shouldn't have. Invaders lead 5-2, to 11.21 to play in the third quarter. No scoring in the half so far. And Stahl has it in the box for Toledo. Stahl, long lead. And it hits uh, Denunzio and is controlled by Kramer. And now Tima ahead to Celestin. Celestin working on Salguero. Back to Tima and back to the magic man, Gerald Celestin. Midfield against McDermott ahead to Pikasinski. And Rudy taps it over to Mike Paxos on the left side. Now Celestin, and he put it over the glass and out of play. He wanted Artie in the corner. 
10.58 to play in the period. And the Invaders lead 5-2. to two. Stahl will put it in play, taps it out to Christensen. Christensen into Stahl. Stahl in the box, still. Kramer takes a couple of steps in. Stahl quickly grabs the ball, picks it up, puts it back down on the floor. And he's picked up by Rudy. He lost the ball to Rudy, but McDermott got it back for Toledo and dumps it back to Christensen. Boy, Stahl had visions of all kinds of trouble in his head there. Here's McDermott. McDermott ahead, and Tima stepped in front, knocked it away from Salguero to Celestin. Celestin, right side at midfield for Art Kramer. Kramer ahead. He's got Rudy clearing, and he just missed him with a feed up front. Now Tima. Tima working against McDermott and through the box to Kramer. Kramer trying to get around Denunzio. Denunzio with a deflection, and it's taken by Christensen. Knocked away from behind by Rudy. Denunzio got it back. Rudy deflects again, but they clear it over to McDermott. McDermott to Salguero. Salguero at midfield. Salguero working on Tima around the middle. He winds, he fires, he scores. And Carlos Salguero puts Toledo back to within two. His 26th goal on the season. And the Invaders' lead is cut to 5-3. Time of the goal, 4-57. And it's 5-3. Probably unassisted. So the Invaders lead cut to two again. It's 5-3. Frick, Moyers, Tobin, Pisano, and Condridge for Canton. Salguero, Denunzio, Rudovic, Christensen, and McDermott for Toledo. Frick at the other end. Shot fired, no rebound, knocked out by McDermott. And headed out to midfield, but Condridge sends it back for Tobin. And he taps it back over to Pisano. Pisano ahead for Tobin, but Denunzio heads it away, and Rudovic has it for Toledo. Rudovic ahead for Denunzio, left side, ball knocked away by Frick, and Tobin chases it down in the invader end, and now Namoski ahead to Don Tobin. Tobin to Pisano to Bill Namoski. Namoski around Salguero, off the right side boards for Pisano. Pisano trying to work his way out of a double team and shovels it back to Namoski in the goal box. And Billy has it airborne midfield for Frick. Fricky puts it down, knocked away by McDermott. They chase it into the boards. Frick got around two guys. You've got a three-on-one break. Frick to center, and it's knocked away by McDermott. And Frick trying to get it back in the corner. He's taken down, and coming the other way is uh, Rudovic. Rudovic across the red line. Left side at midfield, coming up the floor to Nunzio. And Christensen, the ball knocked away by Namoski. Knocked out of play with 8.54 to go in the third quarter, and the Invaders hanging on to a 5-3 lead. Toledo will put it in play, touchline left side, and they will use this break to put some fresh troops in. Mazur, Kelly, Powers, McGeo, and Jackson for Toledo, and the same five, Moyers, Frick, Tobin, Condrich, and Pisano for Kent. Mazur to put it in play for the Pride. Out front, McGeo shot by Jackson, no. Namoski couldn't get the save, and there's a shot by Jackson, blocked by Condridge. Follow for Mazur. Mazur couldn't get the trigger pulled. Now he fires through, open man out front, and they couldn't get the shot, and it's knocked away and taken by Steve Frick. Frick around one, trying to get around Powers, has to reverse his field, dumps it around the boards into the waiting arms of Namoski. Quick outlet, left side, red line, Pisano. Oscar across the midfield line, taken down. That's got to be two minutes on Mark Jackson. And Jackson will sit down for two, and the Invaders go on the power play, and Pisano is still down on the field. Steve Morris, the trainer, out to take a look at Oscar Pisano. Time of the penalty will be 6.32. Jackson goes off for tripping, and Pisano is still down. And now Pat Trainer out to help out with Oscar Pisano as well. Hard to tell exactly what the injury is that they're that trip. Huddled around and Oscar still appears to be in a good bit of pain.
I'm not sure if it's a hamstring or what. It didn't look like it for, at first, but that might be what they're looking at. It'll be Schirelli with Tobin, Rudy, Kia, and Kramer. Now here's an interesting spot here. Art Kramer will apparently play the right point on the power play where Pisano would have been. Well, I tell you, you got some scoring pop in there right now with these five. You do anyway when Oscar's in there, but I'll tell you what. Kramer has been the red-hot player of late for Canton. Now Key in the corner and Kramer on the point. Tobin, middle of the floor, back outside the midfield circle. Art Kramer taps it down for Kia. Kia back to Kramer. Kramer, Schiarelli, back to Tobin on the point. Minute 32 in the penalty. Here's Kramer. Now Toby. Down in the corner for Schiarelli on the left side. And Lesh back out front to Toby. Hardy in the corner for Kia. Kia centers and saved by Stahl. Pikasinski was converging on one side and Schirelli on the other. And if Stahl doesn't hang on to that ball, it's going to be a problem. Long high lead. Kramer goes up in the air, didn't get it. Mazur had some position on him. And Tobin slaps it back in the goal box for Namaski and pushes it ahead for Don Tobin. And we have one minute left in the penalty. Schirelli to Don Tobin. Tobin steps over the ball, now feeds left, right side to Kramer. Ball knocked away by Mazur. And Artie on the run will chase it back in the invader zone to Namaski. And Namaski taps it ahead for Don Tobin. Toby for Schirelli. Lesh wanted Rudy, and he knocked it past him. He couldn't get around Christensen, and Stahl scoops it up. 5-3, Invaders lead. They are on the man advantage. Toledo trying to kill it off. Kramer had the ball knocked away by Bergmeier, but Tobin's got it back for the Invaders. 28 seconds in the penalty. Tobin, right side to Kramer. Now Kia. And he fires no, and it's knocked out of play by Stahl. It'll be a corner kick from the right side for the Invaders, and we'll take a timeout with 6.49 to play in the third period, and the Invaders leading 5-3. to three. We'll keep it here. Don Tobin to trigger it from the right corner. Over the years, the Invaders have been deadly on these kind of plays. Kramer didn't get all of that and is taken away by McGeo. And McGeo up the right side to an open man. Mazur shoots. Good save by Nomofsky. And he, and he corrals the loose ball in the invader zone. Seven seconds left in the penalty. Tobin still at the Canton red line. Pushes it forward for Kia. Kia off the left side boards for Schirelli in the corner for Kramer. Kramer, ball knocked away. Schirelli in the race with McGeo. And he clears it out and Christensen has it for Toledo. Now McGee on right side. The penalty is over. Toledo has killed it off. And a trip foul goes against uh, Kia. So uh, Toledo will kick it in, and that's the second foul on the Invaders. McGee to put it in play. McGee dumps it back to midfield. This is uh, McDermott, who just came off the bench. It's headed out of the zone by Tobin. Kramer trying to get around McDermott. McDermott heads it back, but Pikasinski has it. Rudy around the boards. Here we go. Pikasinski got Kia up the field. Rudy winds, fires with the left foot. It's blocked. Pikasinski got it back to Scarelli. He hit the hit it wide to the left side. The rebound comes out to Don Tobin. Tobin to Kramer, middle of the floor. Artie winds, fires, hits Kia, and it's knocked out of play. It hits Scarelli, and then Kia tried to hit it in, and it went out of play. And it will be a corner kick for the. Uh, Invaders as it was blocked out by Toledo. 5.48 to go in the third period. Canton 5, Toledo 3. Kramer will be the trigger man from the right corner, and now he steps away. And who's going to put it in? Probably Magic. Yeah, Celestin coming toward the ball. Fourth quarter will be another contest period tonight. Magic. Outside, ball knocked away by McDermott, and Tima flags it down at midfield. On the left side for Mike Paxos. Paxos, away from Salguero, dumps it back to Namofsky. And Namofsky will come out of the box with it. Namofsky ahead for Tima. Tima drops it over for Paxos. 
And Paxos into the zone. For Rudy, he shoots just wide, stalled in control, and now he does finally. And a long lead from Stahl, knocked away by Tima. And coming up the floor is Kramer. Kramer for Rudy, right through the goal mouth. They couldn't get a foot on it. And Christensen and Kramer fight for it. Christensen's spin move comes away with it. And sends it ahead for Salguero at midfield. Salguero working on Paxos. And now he sends it forward too far. And Kramer comes the other way for Canton. Hardy trying to get away from Denunzio. And Rudy dumps it down in the zone. Nobody home there. Invaders want the line change. Steve Frick's on the floor. And this is Rudovic for Toledo ahead to Christensen. Christensen against Paxos across the Toledo across the Invader red line. Salguero fronted by Tima moves to the left. Christensen can't get the shot away. Back to Salguero. Nobody home there. Weak shot that was partially blocked from behind, I think, by Frick. Celestin clears it in the box for Namovsky. Outlet for Mike Paxos. Paxos ahead for Steve Moyers. Moyers taps it back for Celestin. Celestin. Around McGeo, now Moyers. Moyers, back to the Magic Man. Celestin moves to the left, trying to get around McDermott. Wall pass for Frick. Oh, he didn't see it coming. Couldn't get the foot on it. Denunzio dumps it out to midfield, and Steve Maurer is there to flag it down for the Invaders. 3.55 to go in the third quarter. Maurer, who's got a wedding coming up in a few weeks, sends it forward for Moyers. Moyers, left side. Working against uh, Rudovic, and it's deflected off the chest of Frick. And Denunzio had it swept away by Maurer. Got it away from Salguero to Condrich, ahead to Maurer. Maurer working on uh, Christensen. Christensen with a deflection. Salguero comes the other way for Toledo. Maurer and Condrich back on D for the Invaders. Right side feed for Christensen. Condrich in the corner to fight with him for that. Toby over to double team. The wall pass is knocked away by Maurer. And Tobin moves away and controls the ball for the Invaders. 3.17 to play in the third quarter. Ahead for Steve Frick. Frick at the Toledo red line on the left side against McDermott. Frick lets Christensen clear by on D and drops it back to Don Tobin. Tobin wants Moyers back to Toby on the give and go. Sliding play by McDermott. Frick in the save by John Stahl. Diving to his right as Fricky sent one hard and low. And Stahl covers it up. Denunzio out in front. And this is uh, Rudovic. And now Denunzio, outlet midfield. Mazur lost it. Tobin dumps it back in the goal box. And Namofsky feeds it ahead for Steve Frick. 2.40 to play in the third quarter. Frick ahead for Maurer. Back to Frick. And the centering pass is in front of Moyers. He can't get it. And Kelly will try to clear Moyers over to help out on D. And Tobin controls on the point. And the pass is a little too far for Moyers. And McGeo clears it back in the goal box for Stahl. 2.22 left in the third quarter. Stahl ahead for Kelly. Kelly midfield puts it up in the air once. Dumps it over to Mazur on the left side. And now Powers. Powers back to Kelly and he put it out of play. Goal kick invaders with 2.09 to play in the quarter. Invaders lead 5-3. You're with 94 FM, WHBC FM, Canton, Ohio. 4,306 at the Civic Center. I believe that's a new record. Yeah, look at the Invaders on the floor applauding the fans here. Invaders on the road tomorrow night against Tampa Bay. You'll hear it right here on 94 FM. Bill Namofsky still in the goal box, now takes it out in the arc. Jackson comes up on him for Toledo, and Namofsky sends it airborne, and it's a three-line violation. Bring it back to the Canton red line. Tried to put the ball in play. Powers dumps it over, and Celestin knocks it away from Kelly, and now Pikasinski with a deflection, and it's cleared out to midfield. And mcgeo has got it there on the right side. mcgeo ahead for Powers. Powers posted up up front, and Paxos gets whistled for the push. And they dump it over. Jackson with a shot and a sliding play by Tima to knock it out of the way. It goes over the glass and out. It's a goal kick, or rather a corner kick for Toledo. A minute 39 in the third quarter. And this will be uh, Kelly to put it in play for Toledo. Kelly. McGeo shot blocked by Kramer and out of play. And we'll do it again from the right corner. That took two seconds off the clock. 
Another contest coming up in the fourth quarter. We'll let you know who our winner is between periods. McGeeo with a shot again. Again blocked by Kramer. This time it stays in play. Rudy heads it up. Headed up again by Powers. Tapped out. And knocked away from Jackson. Hit him in the hand. And the Invaders will put it in play the other way. Second foul on Toledo. Three on the Invaders in the period. With a minute 28. Nobody in any foul trouble at this point. Tima taps it ahead for the Magic Man. Gerald Celestin. Working against Jackson. And now Kelly to help out. And Celestin clears it ahead. Pikasinski. Rudy in the Toledo zone. Let's a couple of people clear by. He feeds it over. And Paxos with a shot. And saved right up against the left post by Stahl. That one had a little zip behind it. Minute 10 remaining in the third period. And Toledo comes out with it. Coming up the floor for the pride is Mazur. Mazur centering pass. Namofsky knocked it away from Powers. And pounces on the loose ball just before Kelly arrived. Here comes Kramer up the left side for Kent. Kramer across midfield to the red line. Left side feed. Team a centering ball. Pikasinski ridden off the play by Mazur. And they come out with it. 45 seconds remaining. And it is uh, McGeeo with it for Toledo. And McGeeo dumps it back in his own end. Kelly in the goal box for Stahl. 34 seconds in the quarter. Rudovic. Toledo red line, middle of the floor, sends it long. He wants McDermott in the corner, but Tima will beat him there. Knocked away and a shot and a save right in the chest of Namoski. And the long lead comes up for Mike Paxos. Backs it away from McDermott into Tima in the invader defensive end. 11 seconds in the quarter. Tima out across the red line, and it's headed back by McGeeo. Magic waits for it there. Dumps it in the box for Namoski, and that will take care of the third quarter. At the end of three, the Canton Invaders five, the Toledo Pride three. Invaders and the home team will control the kickoff to start the fourth quarter. Moyers and Frick in the circle. And the other three guys, Tobin, Condrich, and Maurer standing back at the red line. And we're ready to go in the fourth quarter. Frick to Moyers to Tobin. Dumps it in the Toledo end. Steered out by Mazer. Powers and uh, Moyers fight for it along the boards. And Powers able to come away with that. Powers picked up by Maurer. Knocked away into the corner. But Powers got it back. He shoots wide. Jackson couldn't quite get it on the far post. And Mazur cuts in. Frick cut him in off of the boards. And Condridge clears it out to midfield. Racing back to get it for Toledo is McGeeo. And McGeeo at the red line will come out on Moyers. Long lead. Mowers has got inside of uh, Powers. And Mauer comes out with it for Canton. Mauer stops. Dumps it back in the goal box for Namoski. And Namoski steers it out for Don Tobin. Tobin. The Canton red line, left side for Maurer. Maurer back in the goal box for Namoski. We played 55 seconds of the fourth quarter. And Namoski ahead for Maurer, and now on the left side to Kondrich. Kondrich ahead for Frick, edge of the midfield circle, taps it ahead for Tobin at the Toledo red line. Tobin back to Kondrich, and now Frick. Frick right side for Moyers. Moyers sliding with three players around him from Toledo, and it's cleared out to Maurer. Maurer controls for the Invaders. Knocked away by Powers and taken by Mazur for the pride. Mazur through the midfield circle ahead to Jackson. Jackson got inside Frick. Maurer picks him up along the board. Centering pass. No. Kelly shot. Beautiful save by Namofsky. And Kondrich tries to clear it out. Tobin and Kelly fight for it there. Now Kelly and Kondrich. And you got a whistle and a pushing foul. Goes against uh, Kelly. First one on Toledo in the period. And the Invaders put it in play. 13-17 left in the game. Canton leads 5-3. Kondrich, long lead. He wants Moyers, and it's headed away by Stahl, who had come out of the box to knock that one free. And coming up the floor is Kelly. Kelly over to Mike Garrett, who's in. Garrett, the player coach. Ball knocked away by Frick, taken by Salguero, now taken away by Magic. Celestin comes up the floor for the Invaders. Magic, they're over the red line. Down for Moyers. He shoots wide. Magic scores on the rebound. Celestin from Moyers, and the Invaders.
Tigers lead it six to three. Pretty feed on the give and go from Celeste to Moyers and back to the Magic Man. And the time of the goal is 2-11. And with that, we make a winner out of Richard Barber of Camp. You got the tickets, you got the dinners, you got the t-shirt. Congratulations, Richard Barber. You're our Ohio Health Choice Plan winner. And the Invaders lead 6-3. Celestin from Moyers. Magic picks up his sixth goal of the year, and he is the sixth different Invader to score a goal tonight in the game. Toledo on the attack, but Magic heads it away. Taken back by McDermott. McDermott wants the shot, took it from a bad angle, and Celestin dumps it out, and Namoski punches it away. Over the glass and out of play. And it'll be a corner kick for Toledo. 12.32 left in the game. The Invaders lead by three, six to three. Pekazinski, Moyers, Kia, Frick, Kramer, and Celestin have scored for Canton. McGee, Kelly, and Salguero have scored for Toledo. Centering ball knocked away by Frick, taken by Kramer. Hardy on the run out to the red line and now backs it up in the goal box for Bill Namofsky in the outlet short on the right side to Celestin. Magic working against Garrett. Back it comes to Tima. And ahead for Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski to Kramer. Kramer right side to Toledo. In around one, around two. The shot wide to the left side. And the rebound came out behind Rudy. And Garrett comes out with it for the Toledo Pride. Garrett off the boards for Salguero. Salguero working on Tima. Back to Garrett. Garrett picked up by Celestin at the red line. Garrett a couple of steps in by the arc. Salguero on the right side. Tima's with him. Shot wide. Rebound. Knocked around by... Uh, McDermott and Pikasinski clears it off the boards for Kramer. Kramer trying to get ahead of Garrett. Does. Kramer takes it down in the Toledo end. Rudovic is back there. And Rudovic comes away out of the corner with the ball. 11.36 in the game. Christensen up the floor for Toledo. Stops at the red line. Backs it up to Garrett. Garrett on Pikasinski. Now Salguero down in the corner. This is Rudovic. Rudovic. Wall pass, no, and Kramer knocks it away and controls for the Invaders. Hardy Kramer to Magic Celestin. Celestin dumps it ahead for Pikasinski. Rudy in the right corner in the Toledo and double teamed. Tries to center, does, got it back, shoot, score! Mike Paxos. I think we'll get the goal, and Rudy Pikasinski will get the assist at 7 to 3. Time of the goal, 3.58. Seven different invaders have scored. Pikasinski gets an assist. We're talking about balance. Seven different invaders have scored goals. Seven different invaders have assisted tonight. That's spreading it around. The invaders lead 7-3. to three. For Paxos, his third goal of the year. For Celestin, it's his sixth assist. 7-3. to three. Invaders with the lead. Maurer with the ball in the invader end. And they come out three on three on the attack. And now Maurer has to back it up. Toledo gets back on D. Tobin ahead to Moyers. Back to Don Tobin. And Tomo Kondrich. Left side midfield for Maurer. Maurer ahead for Frick. Frick working on McGeo in the corner. Frick, he turns, wants a feed out front. He's got Maurer. Maurer lets it go wide to the right. Tobin takes the rebound, shovels it down for Moyers in the corner. It's knocked away by Mazur. And coming the other way is Kelly for Toledo. 10-24 left in the game. Kelly, lead ball for Mazur up the left side. Shot blocked by Kondrich. And the ball knocked away from Kondrich, but Tomo got it back. Tomo dumps it back in the goal box for Bill Namofsky. Namofsky for Maurer and back to Tobin. Now Maurer and back again for Namofsky. And again the outlet on the left side to Tobin and back again to Namofsky. And again to Tobin. And this time Toby feeds on the right side to Maurer. And again back to Bill Namofsky. Namofsky will come out of his net with it. He sends it long and is picked away by McGeo at the red line across midfield. And he fires, and a pretty easy save for Namoski that time, going to his knees to come up with it. And Frick's got the ball right side at midfield for Camp. Steve Frick around one, off the boards around two, and a sliding play by McGeo to knock it away from Fricky. Maurer tries to get it back for Camp and double team though, and Jackson comes away for Toledo. Intercepted by Kondrich, and now Tobin's got it back. 
Tobin for Condrich for Maurer. And Maurer ahead for Don Tobin, left side at midfield. Toby ahead for Steve Frick. And Frick trying to get inside a man. That's Mazer. Double team. Frick, he still comes out with the ball, dumps it back out on the point. And Magic comes in on the left side. 9.04 in the game. Invaders by four, seven to three. They've scored two unanswered goals in this period. Maurer ahead for Frick. Frick trying to get inside Powers and double teamed. And the ball taken away by Kelly. Kelly coming up the floor for Toledo. Kelly across the floor. The right side at midfield is Mazer. Mazer ahead for Powers. Powers across the red line. Stops and backs it up on the right side to uh, Rudovic. Now Christensen. Toledo changing lines in the middle of all this. Christensen ahead. McDermott couldn't get the shot. Salguero headed it in. And Namofsky knocked it over the glass and out of play. 8.21 left to play in the game. And Toledo will kick it in uh, from the right corner in the Invader defensive end. McDermott to put it in play for the Pride. Who are dangerously close to falling to 4-20. and 20. Invaders looking to go 18-5. This would be their 34th straight win at home. There's a shot, and uh, the rebound Denunzio couldn't control. And Celestin, with a nifty move, gets it back to Namaski. Long lead for Pikasinski. Rudy breakaway. Good save by Stahl to kick that one free. Rudy had split the two defenders and gotten behind both of them, and Stahl came up big in the Toledo net. 8.03 left in the game. Christensen, long lead for McDermott, headed away by Magic. Team of clears for Kramer. Kramer off his chest up the right side of the floor. Artie working around Salguero, dumps it down in the corner, and there's nobody home there as Rudy couldn't get around Rudovic on the play. Now you've got Christensen out across the red line for Toledo over midfield and into the Canton defensive zone on the right side to McDermott. McDermott working on Magic, and McDermott comes out front with it now. 7.34 left. McDermott, Christensen tried to center. Paxos deflected. Salguero gets it back out on the right point, working against Tima. Salguero being hounded by Tima. Timmy got a piece of that. Kramer tries to control for Canton, gets away from McDermott. Here come Kramer and Rudy with two guys back for Toledo. And now they'll back it up to Tima. Tima, pass deflected. Rudy got it back, and he couldn't get the shot away because of good defense that time by Bob Denunzio. And coming the other way for Toledo is John Rudovic, and it's taken away by Kramer. Kramer to Magic. Magic, edge of the midfield circle, back at the Canton red line to Paxos, right side of midfield to Kramer, now Paxos, now Magic. Magic across the red line. Magic, shot deflected by Christensen. Tima got it back, Magic got decked away from the ball. And Tima around the right side tries to center, it's blocked by McDermott. And Rudy hounds him, deflected it from behind, Celestin got it back. Salguero with a deflection, but Rudy clears to midfield where Mike Paxos waits for it. 6.32 left in the game, Tim Tima for the Invaders with a move around Denunzio, and now dumps it on the left side to Don Tobin, now Kramer. And back out in front of the goal box to Namoski. Ahead midfield, ball taken away by Christensen. Salguero's got it, working on Kondrich. Tomo with a deflection. Denunzio dumps it back outside the red line. It's taken there by McDermott for Toledo. McDermott with a move on Tobin. They cross with uh, Christensen. Christensen feeds left side to Denunzio. They try to center to Salguero. It's knocked in the corner. Denunzio with it again for Toledo. 5.57 to play. Shot by Rudovic. Blocked by Kramer. Taken by Kramer. Ahead to Moyers. Moyers up the right side of the floor for the Invaders. Moyers around one. He fires. Kick save and a dandy by Stahl. And Rudovic gets up and steers the rebound back into Stahl. Ahead to Salguero. But Kondrich stepped in front of him and knocked the ball in the goal box for Bill Namofsky. 5.37 to go. Namofsky ahead to Steve Frick. Frick. Ball knocked away from behind by Jackson. And Rudovic with the ball in Toledo in. Ahead to Garrett. Garrett left side at midfield. Garrett across the invader red line, picked up by Tobin. And Toby rides him away and steers it in the box for Namoski. Ahead for Steve Frick. Frick across the midfield line, now Moyers. 5.13 left in the game. Now it is Tom Condrich. Condrich ahead for Steve Maurer. Maurer across the Toledo red line, left side, right side to an open Moyers. And he tried to pass it through to Frick, and it was knocked away there by Rudovic and cleared out to Mark Jackson. Jackson up the left side of the floor. Around one, lost his balance, tripping call. Two minutes coming up 
on Kondrich, and Toledo will go on the power play. Be their second power play of the night. The first one, they not only did not score, they gave up a shorthanded goal. Time of the penalty at 10.07 of the period. That means there's 4.53 left in the game. Kondrich goes off two minutes for tripping. And Toledo will go on the power play. For Canton, Frick, Kramer, Tima, and Pikasinski takes Tomo's place. Tomo is in the box. Power play unit for Toledo. You've got Garrett Salguero. In the corner with the ball is uh, Power. Salguero with a follow, no. And the other player is Rudovic. Kramer knocks it away to Frick. Here we go again, two on one. Frick with Kramer. Frick, he had the ball deflected by Garrett. But now he gets inside Garrett in the corner and taps it outside for Rudy. Rudy knocked it away from Salguero. And the Invaders will control at their own red line in the form of Tim Tima. Ahead to Frick. Frick, ball swept away by Garrett. 422 left in the game. And you've got a minute 22 left in the penalty. Here is Garrett out in front of the arc. Right side, Salguero. Salguero in the corner. Back out front to Garrett. Now on the left side to Rudovic. Rudovic tried to get it inside Tima, but Timmy comes away with it. Tim Tima up the floor. A hit for Kramer on the break. And the ball knocked away from behind by Salguero, and Stahl sends it ahead. One minute left in the penalty. 3.51 now to play in the game. Salguero right point down in the corner. And the pass knocked away out front. They tried to get it over to Salguero, too high for the headshot. And a rifle shot by Rudovic wide to the left side. And Garrett's got it back out front for Toledo. Down in the corner it goes. Kelly out front, Salguero. Ball blocked by Rudy. Salguero feed shot score by Kelly on the power play. Kelly gets his second goal of the night. And Toledo cuts the margin down to 7-4. to four. Time of the goal is 11:30. Uh, so the power play goal by Toledo makes them one for two on the night. Salguero will pick up the assist, his second point of the night. And it's seven to four with 3:30 to go. A timeout on the field. And I think we've seen the last of John Stahl. And it'll be Mark Christensen coming in to play goal as the sixth attacker for Toledo. The Invaders lead 7-4. And Christensen will come in as Toledo with three goals down. will try to do some business here with a sixth attacker. Now the Invaders call time as Trevor Dawkins wants to... Uh, alert his troops to the goings on and make the last couple of games they have had some success against opposing team sixth attacker units in terms of scoring against them see if they can avoid giving up any here that's the main thing you don't give up any you win the game 330 to go Canton 7 Toledo 4 Frick Pikasinski Kramer Kondrich and Tima for Canton and you've got uh, Garrett Kelly, Salguero, Powers, Rudovic, and the sixth attacker, Christensen, on the floor for Toledo. And Amoski still in goal for the Invaders. He's gone the whole way. 7-4 to four is our score. 3.30 left to play. And now, apparently, the shirt from Christensen still isn't uh, meeting with the approval of the... Uh, referee. He had it on inside out. Well, what are we doing here? Now they're going to have him put the warm-up back on, I guess. Eventually, Christensen will have the proper wardrobe on, and then we're going to be able to play soccer again. Is that a referee, or is that Mr. Blackwell down there uh, giving us our list of best and worst-dressed soccer players of the year? Okay. Now I think we're ready to go. If Christensen can get the warm-up zipped up, now we go. Toledo on the sixth attacker unit. Kramer dumps it ahead into the Toledo end. Christensen taps it out. And Power shovels it over for Rudovic. Rudovic dumps it ahead for Garrett. 
And back to Rudovic at midfield. 3.16 left in the game. Salguero, right point for Toledo. Wines, fires. That one's out of play. Goal kick invaders. Namaski to put it in play for Camp. And Christensen retreats back into his own end now. Namaski taps it over to Tima and back to Namaski. Billy, long lead up the floor for Frick. Frick working against Salguero. Salguero takes him down back to Rudy. Rudy trying to get around McDermott. McDermott picked the ball away and they dump it back to Rudovic. And there's Kondrich with a steal. And Tomo trying to get inside his man Kelly does. He got around Salguero too. Tomo across the box and it was in front of Fricky. 2.45 left to play. And Frick will back it up for Tim Tima. Tima sends it ahead for Kramer. And it's knocked away there by Rudovic and Toledo brings it up. 2.34 left. Rudovic still in the midfield area. And now they push it over to Salguero and back in the circle it comes to Christensen. Christensen left side for Garrett. Garrett across the box. Salguero winds and fires. No. Rebound into the corner. Knocked away from Garrett by Tima. And Kramer clears for Frick on the break. And Christensen heads it away from Fricky. But Rudy tries to get it back. And Fricky does get it for the Invaders. Fricky taps it ahead for Kramer on the run up the right side. 2.05 in the game. Kramer lost the ball in a sliding play by Rudovic. And coming the other way is uh, Rudovic to Salguero. Third quarter, Fort Wayne leads Milwaukee. Five to two, beginning of the third. Memphis over Chicago, three to nothing. That's a team that scored 10 goals and a half Wednesday night, and they've been shut out so far tonight. Shot in Mosky, knocked it over the glass and out of play. Corner kick for Toledo from the left side with 143 left to go. And the Invaders lead by three. Garrett to put it in play for the Pride. Garrett. Garrett outside Christensen fires hit the post and Kondrich will try to clear for the invaders he sends it long and it's three lines so we take it back to the Canton red line with a minute 36 to go Powers leaves it for Christensen over to Garrett Garrett in the corner left side wall pass and Frick knocked it away Salguero couldn't get it it's third by Rudy here we go on the break again Rudy up the right side for Kramer minute 26 Kramer Fires, no. Frick with a rebound. Couldn't get the shot away. It was knocked away, but Frick chases it out in the corner. Trying to get inside a man, and he does get inside the man. Got inside the ref, two outside. Rudy scores! Rudy from Frick. And the Invaders lead 8-4. to four. Kaczynski's second goal of the night is 31st of the year. Time of the goal, 13.47 of the fourth quarter. Frick gets his second assist of the night. He's got 10 on the season. Frick, he's got a goal tonight, too. And the Invaders lead it 8-4. Only a minute 13 left in the game, and the Invaders have put this one in the bag. Toledo will remain with a sixth attacker. Rudovic back at the Toledo red line. Minute nine to go. Salguero right side still at midfield. Minute four left. Christensen ahead for Powers. Powers in the corner out front. Shot by Salguero. No. Garrett couldn't get it. And Keo on the floor for Canton trying to get away from Rudovic. And Tima got a piece. Rudovic got it back. Dumps in the corner behind Kelly. Salguero back to Kelly. Weak shot controlled easily by Namaski. 43 seconds in the game. Long lead for Steve Frick. Frick working on Salguero. Takes him down. Coming the other way is Kelly for Toledo. 35 seconds. Kelly shot. Diving save and a beauty by Namaski. Tima clears for Kia. Kia ahead for Frick on the break. Frick with Salguero. Fricky got away from Christensen. And Christensen grabs it and covers up. 21 seconds. Lead ball for Garrett. 19 in the game. Garrett against Moyers. Shot, no. Rebound, knocked away by Kondrich. 12 seconds to play. Here comes Kia on the breakaway. He fires. He hit the post with seven seconds left to go. Four, three, two, one. Good night, boys and girls. This one's over. The Invaders win it going away, eight to four. We don't have any more commercials.
The defensive player of tonight's game, Bill Lebowski. The offensive player of tonight's game, Steve Frick. Thank you. 